working on range management today. So we have a lot of games where you know I start on, you start on your back and you let your opponent do whatever. We're kind of doing the opposite today, where I'm making sure I'm controlling range from the furthest distance possible. So I don't want to give Sean anything, and I'm going to manage that by largely, like we normally do, framing the leading edge, but combining with that, managing like the hand fight and considering like the hands as part of the leading edge or the head. So if the head comes forward, I'm pushing his head off the center line and hit the scale. All right, I'm maintaining control of his hands, preventing him from controlling me. All right, if you're back to stand. So then from that point, we really want to recognize where we're safe in range and where we have the advantage and where our opponent has the advantage. Like right now, if I don't have control of his hands, Sean has the advantage. Like he's really close to me. He has more mobility because he's standing. He's going to have an easier time controlling me than I am going to be controlling him. So I want to control his hands. If he gets closer to me, I might reset the range. Once I'm ready to move in, we worked on the basic idea of getting a two-on-one grip on one wrist. So loops with my fingers around one wrist, scooting and getting my foot to the hip. All right. So moving into usually a tripod variation, elbows are tight to me and I'm using my leg, so this leg press back and forth, to manage the range between us. I'm breaking his alignment and really opening up his structure by keeping my elbows closed and pushing with my foot. If I want to transition into the tripod, ankle, knee, and then we were working on a basic idea of elevating his foot and bringing him to the mat. All right, so if you stand back up. We also went over the idea, when we're managing range here, we can move into the idiot sweep, so I can hook my feet. Ideally, he's got a parallel stance, so his feet are side by side, but if they're not, if they're slightly staggered, I can still pull this off. If I'm managing the range by winning the hand fight, controlling the hand fight, managing range, scoot, and I hook inside his legs. It might even work like this. Like it might be way back here, and I scoot in like this to try push just below his knees while hooking his feet. A basic defense for him here is to step out like that, and so I'm recognizing that. So when he goes to step out, I'm trying to maintain my hooks to tip him over, control his feet, get up in the face, get up on top. One last point. The other guard that we were working on, another really long range guard, is the Delahiva guard. So as I'm controlling, it's perfectly fine. If you want to go to Delahiva, to allow this leg to come into the center, and in this situation, I move into my Delahiva guard, which again is another long range guard. So the idea of today is keeping our training partner as far away from us as possible. If I want to let him get close, I'm doing exactly that. I'm letting him get close on my terms. If he moves forward, it's like, no, you're not going to choose what you want to do. And when I want to, I'm going to move into the guard I want to move into. If I don't feel good here, I'm pushing you back. I'm resetting and managing that range where I'm completely safe.